A months long court battle in Washington County over a ban on the sale of flavored tobacco products could now be going statewide because the circuit judges ruled in favor of the businesses fighting to keep those sales going, setting up a potential appeal. Jamie Seymour has what comes next. We're in the fight every day to keep our doors open. A fight some Washington County businesses have taken to court following an ordinance to ban the sales of flavored tobacco products. A ban that left many, like Jordan Schwartz's Serenity Vapor Lounge, with almost no products and very little sales. We have two small little shelves that uh, consist of the tobacco flavors and then everything else was not allowed to be sold. This summer, a temporary injunction was filed to halt that ban on sales, allowing businesses to sell the products. And this week, a judge officially ruled in their favor. In the ruling, Circuit Judge Andrew Irwin says the decision to disallow licensed retail sale of such products must come from the state, not county by county. The ordinance is has been declared unconstitutional because it is preempted by state law, uh, specifically Senate Bill 587, which created state licensure. In the county's response, its tobacco prevention coordinator said, quote, it's already illegal to sell tobacco products to youth, but that doesn't stop many retailers. A claim disputed by businesses involved in the court case. It's offensive. Um, we definitely take it a high pride to make sure that we've never, ever sold to anybody under the age of 21. In a statement, Washington County's Health and Human Services Department says they disagree with the court's ruling and are considering an appeal. However, as attorney Tony Aiello Jr. points out, while this ruling only applies to Washington County now, if that appeal is heard in an appellate court, it could set a precedent for any county in Oregon that uses state licensure extending well beyond the Portland Metro. If Judge Irwin's ruling was adopted by the Oregon Court of Appeals, that reasoning would apply statewide, uh, which would say that counties are not allowed to ban uh, flavored products.